So I guess I never really thought about it, but the goblin is the first demon. <laughs> I mean, really. It, eh, I'll be dang. Eh. And even the name's uh, somewhat appropriate. Hey, Charles, there's a there's a balder pro on, uh, on that. Don't go. Wobble. Malice. So this is Glacier Titanium. I really like this color. I like this color so much, I actually did a baseball bat in it. Yeah. I don't make the bats, but now that one was bought like that. I've got a couple I've bought, but I've got a few I've made. Man, those are two. Two of those have not been started yet, so <laughs> they're kind of plain. <laughs> now the wife, she makes you know pretty stuff like that and pretty stuff like these, but you're not gonna get a good look yet. So, what she decided, which is a grand idea, um, is we are going to because we found out that. That these things, uh, the size is not one to one. Um, so basically, when you make a master that's a six eight five, by the time you make a master, make a mold, then get the product, uh, the size can change depending on a lot of variables. So uh, we had to adjust at the first. So we ended up luckily having what what we thought was going to be. The bore match stuff for the 685 barrel ended up being perfect bore match for 683s. So then we had to kind of restart on the 685, which now we've got, but um, kind of slowed us down a little bit. So that is what the kind of what the whole deal has been with that. So, and to prevent anybody from having to wait on stuff in the future, what we're going to do is actually see, we're actually, th this is a heck of a process. Y'all have no idea. Like it, it's a heck of a process. It, you know, you're looking at a, a whole day to make a mold and another whole, like half a day to produce a product, to see if it's okay to redo the master, to redo a mold. Like, you know, and you're doing like, you know, so many at a time and trying to get everyone on perfect and then having to wait and wait and wait. It's a process. <laughs> There's been many, uh, many changes throughout the way. Uh, not ballistically, but cosmetically, as far as like clarity and all that stuff. But I'm gonna tell you, there's there's a lot to it. Um, but anyway, so we're gonna actually package stuff up and have it. We're gonna so all this stuff is gonna be uh, pre measured. So th this is this is not mass produced ammo by any means. This stuff is literally gonna be pre measured weighed and bagged and then put on the site so you're basically going to see stuff just popping up all the time on the site once we get this rolling this weekend um but she will not do it until she has enough to to make a few bags up and she's going to actually we're going to put the picture of the bags that you're going to get <laughs> thanks richard she she got it now, Richard. She got it. Oh, I can't get it. But uh, we're going to put an actual, you know, picture of the bag of ammo that you're going to get sent. So, A, you're going to see that the ammo is already made and what color, what it looks like or whatever. Uh, and it's already ready to ship right then. And, uh, yeah, that's A and B both right there. Yo, huh, I combined them. All right, so... It's charging. 